Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Lindsay. I'm here with another unboxing for you tonight. This is a Goodwill Blue Box five pound jewelry repurpose box and it came from Nashville, Tennessee. So I'm excited to get that open and share it with you. If you're new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, The Real Real, and here on YouTube. I do post videos Mondays and Thursdays, but I also drop in bonus uploads. So make sure when you subscribe, you also hit the bell notification for me. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I will be offering items for sale throughout the unboxing. So if you do see anything that you would be interested in purchasing, simply send me an email with a timestamp of the item along with a brief description. And if you include the price, that's always helpful as well. And uh, make sure you also send me your mailing address if you've never purchased from me before. I will keep a sold list pinned at the top of the comments. So check that out and that will tell you if the item you're looking for is still available. If it is listed in pending status, you can still inquire on it and be a backup buyer in case I don't receive payment on the first request. So um, this box did come from Nashville, Tennessee. I can't remember if I stated that. I'm gonna go ahead and open it from the bottom. And um, these do not come in a bag, I don't believe, from Nashville. So it should just be all dumped in the box here. So let me just raise this up a little bit so I don't keep bumping the camera. I got my coffee here I'm gonna be very cautious with so I don't spill that. I am off of work today. Um, I'm recording this Monday, so hopefully I'll have time to get this edited. And if there's any research that needs to uh, be done before the video airs this evening. But I always enjoy doing these. It is a treasure hunt to see what you might be able to get. There will be a lot of craft items and probably single earrings, stuff like that. But like with any of the boxes, it is a gamble. So here's a first look at the items. I am seeing a lot of bracelets in there. Um, hopefully we have some sterling. There's a beautiful little cocktail ring here. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited to see what I got. I'm gonna move that aside and just pull out a handful. And there are some massive tangles. I may need to go for a smaller grab to start out. If there is anything that you would like a measurement on that I don't provide, just include that in your email or um, you can put that in the comments below and I'd be happy to grab that for you. I do at least try to measure the bracelets and rings, um, but I don't usually do the necklaces just so we can get this moving as quickly as possible. And there are a lot of tangles to start. So let's start with these items here. First up is a plastic bangle and it is just white and there are a couple tags in here. Um, looks like it's vintage. It says made in Hong Kong and it was originally $2.99. And it looks like it's in pretty good condition. There's a little discoloration along the seam there, um, but overall looks pretty good. And let's get a measurement on this one. Is a chunky um, bangle. It is sitting on the top of the bangle is sitting at a size seven. So let's do $2 on that one for the vintage cuff bracelet or vintage bangle I rather. Um, next is a silver tone, anything is possible cuff. And it's got a little rhinestone cross charm on it. Very cute. I don't see any maker's mark on it. And it is quite pliable. We'll do $2 on that one also, if anybody's interested. And next is just a metal bangle, and I believe that is gold tone, but it looks like there is some wear to the color. Um, so that one we'll just do a dollar on. Um, it is cute. It's got little hearts on it. And this one is sitting in at a size 
about seven and a half on that one. So just a dollar on that piece. And next up we have um, this beautiful faceted pink necklace. These are just acrylic beads and they do have small little beads uh, for spacers. It's on the shorter side, but it has a long extender. Um, very beautiful color. Um, let's do $3 on that one. Next is another bracelet, and I don't know what the material is on this. It's very pliable. I don't know if it is a leather. And um, it has a really cool um, like faux stone in there. So really interesting piece, could be artisan made. I don't see any maker's mark on it. So it kind of feels like wood and then it is covered in like a leather. So really interesting piece. Um, definitely um, like a boho style and it is adjustable. So on this one, um, let's do $3. It appears to be in pretty good condition. All right, I got a bigger stack out here so we can work on some tangles. I did order another one of these on Friday, so I thought I would get this box open today since I've had this one for a lot longer. I don't order these often, but they are so much easier to get than the thread up DIY. All right, next is another cuff bracelet. This is really cute. It's got um, like a knotted heart almost on it. And I don't believe this one is marked. No, nope, there's no maker's mark on it. And there is just a little bit of wear on the inside. Some darkening um, there, but otherwise it's in really good condition. It is pliable and gives a Kate Spade kind of vibe. We'll do $2 on that one. Okay, and this came loose. This is a chunky seed bead necklace um, with beautiful white and silver. And then it has a knot there. And this is just kind of um, maybe a little bit loose from the knot. So it's a little, it is hanging out just a little bit on that side. This does have a lot of wear on the metal along the cones, but the actual beads look pretty good and a lot of wear along the chain as well. And let me make sure that the clasp works because it's a little bit bent. Um, so it looks like it is staying secure, but it's not the tightest closure. So on this one, um, we are just gonna put this in craft. So that will be a dollar. All right, a couple more things here. This is a kind of like a hammered gold tone pendant on a gold tone chain. And this one looks like it's in pretty good condition. There is a little bit of wear and color loss along the metal, but nothing too bad. And there is the back of the pendant. Um, so on this one, let's just do $2. And this necklace is really cute. This is Guess. So it's got a little padlock with rhinestones and then it's marked guess there. And it's on a gold tone paper clip chain. This is in really good condition. There is the guess hang tag as well and a lobster clasp. Um, so this is a great item. This is an awesome layering piece. Um, let's do $4 on the guess. Got a silver tone, um, kind of etched looking um, bangle, and there is some verdigris on it. That is going to be a craft item for a dollar. And I forgot to turn my ring light on, so I apologize if it was a little bit dark in the beginning of the video. Hopefully this will be a little bit better. And um, just another kind of copper tone bangle. That will also be a dollar. So this is a kind of brushed gold tone kind of shield looking necklace. Um, there is a little bit of wear on it, but overall not too bad. It's really lightweight. 
and I don't see any maker's mark on that one. Um, overall, it's pretty good, just a little bit of wear. We'll do $2 on that one. And next is another necklace, and this is just a plastic um, faceted rhinestone there. And then this does show a lot of wear on the dangles and also along the chain. I don't see any maker's mark on that one. Um, so this will just be a dollar. Might be a fun crafting piece. And these boxes are considered, you know, just repurposed. So there's no guarantee that anything is gonna be resellable in here. But uh, there are some treasures from time to time. There is this ear cuff here. I don't know if there will be a second one, but you could certainly do that on one ear and then um, you know, just wear a regular earring on the other one. It looks like that's in pretty good shape. I'm just gonna sell that um, for the one. If I find the other, um, I will include that as well, but that'll just be a dollar. And next up is a bracelet. This is like a faux leather gray with um, just like an acrylic stone, some rhinestones, and a brushed gold tone bar. And it looks like this is in pretty good condition. It is an adjustable slider. I don't see any maker's mark on it. Um, we'll do $2 on that. This definitely looks like a branded piece that is tangled in there. Next up is this rhinestone statement necklace and it's like a tomato red. And it looks like all the stones are present. Um, just shows some wear on the metal. There is some color loss back on the chain. And some wear along the jump rings. So on that one, um, we'll just do a dollar. It does show quite a bit of wear, um, but all of the stones are there. Um, so just a dollar on that statement necklace. We have a pearl piece here. And unfortunately, it looks like this could be broken. It is very pretty, um, but I don't see a maker's mark. It kind of gives a J. Crew look with those beads, and it does have some nice filigree, but I don't see a brand, and definitely something is broken with the clasp. So that will just be a dollar in craft for the pearls. They are faux pearl. Next up is a rose gold necklace. This is a really dainty chain. There's no clasp on it. And then it just comes down into these little sliders and then some spiked uh, on the lariat. So it looks like it is in good condition. I don't see any maker on it. And again, no clasp, um, very delicate. So on that one, we'll just do $2. Whatever this rhinestone necklace is here, it looks like it is broken. There is something missing there and it is tangled with something that is magnetic. So I'm not really sure the condition on the other one. Um, this might be cute for crafting. That will be in craft, uh, both pieces for a dollar. Got these metallic silver faux pearl. It's a multi-layer necklace. And it does have a lobster clasp. And it looks like all five strands are connected. Um, yep, 
And it looks like everything is present there. Very lightweight. Um, we will do um, just $2 on that one. Take a look. So this is very interesting. It's got the rhinestones and then just some acrylic beads on the chain. And we are missing a stone there. And it looks like this one is definitely showing some wear. Uh, missing another stone there. That is gorgeous, like a peacock green um, faceted bead. And we're missing another stone there. So this necklace will just be in craft. I don't see any maker on it, but I think that would be a cool repurposed piece. All right, this one is loose here. It is silver tone and faux pearl. And it does have a lobster clasp. There is wear, some copper showing through there. Um, otherwise, the necklace looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, so on that one, let's do $2. I do have a tangle here. Um, the silver tone one is a Charming Charlie. And I believe there is a brand on the gold tone one also because there's the rhinestone, but I don't see a marking. Um, I'm not sure of the exact condition on these ones, but if anyone wants to untangle it, um, I'll do $2 for the tangle. Just want to keep this moving because I do have to still edit the video today. Oh, we have one of these Alex and Ani. Um, this one is, I forget the name of this one, but I definitely have had it before. And I think this is one of their better pieces. It is an expandable bracelet and it looks like it's in pretty good condition, a little bit of tarnish. Um, let's do $5 on that one. Next up is like a memory wire choker. It is silver tone with red and that might be like a painted shell. And there is a little bit of tarnish on the metal. So that's an interesting piece. It looks overall like it's in pretty good condition. All right, so on this one, um, let's just do $3. It's an interesting piece. Oh, look at that. It's got like a marble in it. And this, whatever this blue necklace is, it is branded. see here. This is St. Thomas. That is a good brand. It is a brushed gold tone. And it does have, um, that is really cool, uh, like hammered gold tone pendant on it. And it looks to be in good condition. So that is a really nice color, a beautiful slate blue. Let's do $6 on the St. Thomas. Definitely one of the better pieces in the box so far. So hopefully there are more branded items to come. Next up is a Silver Tone Love necklace, and that's really sweet. It's got rhinestones and a acrylic flower on it. And I don't see any maker on that one. Um, it looks like it's in good condition. Let's do $3 on the Love Necklace. And this definitely seems like a glass marble. And um, it does have a slider on the chain. And this is in really nice condition. Surprisingly, there's no maker's mark on there. Um, but a really interesting piece. Let's do $4 on that one. And next up, we have this um, gold tone, I assume, chain. And it is broken. Yep, just gold tone. That one will be in craft. Got another handful out here. 
There hasn't been a whole lot of earrings so far. This long plastic necklace, multi-strand. Does have a lobster clasp, a little bit of wear on the metal. And it's kind of cool how it's split there. And then it is a four strand necklace with like a plastic mother of pearl um, looking disc and clear discs. Very lightweight, um, but super long. It looks like this is in pretty good shape. Um, it does need a cleaning, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Um, we'll just do $2 on that one because it will need a cleaning. And this is a cool piece. It is like a braided leather with silver tone. And this one's not marked either. I was thinking this could be a Premier Designs or something like that. Um, definitely like a collar necklace. Um, really cool piece. There is um, just a little bit of wear, but overall it looks pretty good and it's a little bit misshapen. Um, let's just do $3 on that one. The memory wire bracelet, silver tone and faux pearl. And it looks like that one is in good shape. We'll do $2 on that. And there is a new on the card piece. I'm thinking that is um, Napier, but it is missing one of the earrings. And there's another earring that doesn't belong. So I'll see if I can find the other earring. It is on a lever back closure, um, but a beautiful faux pearl and like a twisted silver tone. And this was originally $28. And there's no markings on it, um, but I believe that is Napier. So um, let's do $5 on that one. Um, it will just be for the one earring, but I will include the earring if I can find it. But um, the necklace is absolutely beautiful. Move that tangle aside and grab another handful here. We have um, just like a satiny choker with a gold tone clasp and extender. That will just be a dollar. We have the silver tone uh, key necklace. That's really neat. Um, we are missing a stone, it looks like. Yeah, that stone is missing. And the metal is showing a bit of wear. Um, so on that one, let's just do $2. It's not super noticeable, but it will need another stone. Little stones, it looks like but pretty ornate looking um, and a neat piece, maybe even for Halloween. Um, we'll do $2 on that, but it is missing a couple stones. It's really cool, it's like a frosted acrylic. And this is branded, I am not sure what that brand is, so I'm gonna look that one up and put a price on the screen, but it looks like it's in really good condition. So hopefully that is a good brand. I'm excited to look that one up. We have a large kind of wrap bracelet here. And this one um, is super lightweight. Um, that will just be in craft for a dollar. This is a plastic beaded necklace, um, kind of graduated, and it is like a tomato red. It is showing up a little bit darker on camera, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. We'll do $2 on that one. And there is the same necklace in pink. 
Also looks to be in pretty good condition. We'll do $2 on that one. We have a new on the uh, new tag, um, Alex and Ani embossed paint charm. I am ready to embrace the mystery. Um, so really dainty, um, really dainty band on this one. Um, let's do three dollars on the Alex and Ani. That is brand new. And this is kind of cute. Um, I guess it was a bracelet, but it seems to be very stretched out. But it has a really cute little horse charm on it. And this one is marked. Let me see what that says there. It, it is marked um, top, T-O-P-P. -P, but um, it definitely has a stretched out band on it but um, could be a cool repurpose piece. All of the stones are there. Um, let's do $2 on that one. Up is just a silver tone plain chain um, with an extender, it's in good condition. Um, that will just be a dollar. And here's a ring here, I'm assuming um, just silver tone. It is an adjustable ring, really dainty with a um, kind of like a pink purple stone on it. So really cute, we'll do $2 on that one. Next up, these definitely feel like glass beads, um, painted and that one's wire wrapped. And it does show, um, looks like it just needs a good wipe down on there. But absolutely stunning beads. Um, the painted ones are just beautiful. And this is marked um, Premier Designs. So it is just silver tone. There is wear also along the chain and extender. But gorgeous beads. So it will need a cleaning and there is some wear but overall a really nice piece. Um, let's do three on that one. And some more pearls here. This is silver tone, faux pearl. Those might be glass. They do have a little bit of weight to them. Um, let's do $3 on that one. It looks to be in good condition. We have a really chunky necklace here that is branded. And this is really pretty. It has all these faceted kind of crystal looking discs. Um, they may be glass or just acrylic, I'm not really sure. But um, very interesting shapes. And it is on silver tone. And um, this one, I believe, is Ann Taylor. I believe that's what that is. Um, or that may be the Simply Vera uh, by Vera Wang. I always get that one confused. Um, but it's a really nice necklace. I'm in good condition. Let's do $5 on that one. Very few branded pieces in here, so I'll definitely take that. We have a another um, Alex and Ani. This is a really cool one. I've never seen one like that. This is um, vintage sixty six Alex and Ani. So I wonder if that might have been a collaboration. So I'm gonna look that one up and I'll put a price on the screen. Um, but that is a nice piece. Another cuff bracelet here, and this one is marked. Um, I believe it's the Mantra. Yeah, this is the Mantra band. Um, it says no excuses, and um, it looks to be in pretty good condition. Um, let's just do two dollars on that one. And next up is just another um, bangle bracelet with a peace sign. And there are rhinestones on the other side, and that one might be a little bit dark 
Maybe some water got um, behind that, but I believe that is just silver tone, and it is. And it is coming in at a size about um, seven and three quarter on that one. Um, we'll just do a dollar on the peace sign bracelet. And we have another statement necklace. This is in um, a dark silver tone and then has all these faceted beads. And there is some wear on the chain, no maker's mark. But um, overall, it looks to be pretty good. Um, we'll do $3 on that one. And next up, this one is marked KC. I believe that's Kenneth Cole. And it is a double layer necklace with little beads. And um, I think that just needs to be wiped down a little bit. And a lot of color loss back along the clasp and extender. I think this is probably a vintage piece. Um, let's do $3 on the Kenneth Cole. It's in good shape other than the clasp and extender. this um, dainty necklace on like a little rope. Cool little pendant on it. It's a little bit twisted up and there's no maker's mark on it. Um, I'm just gonna put that into craft for a dollar. Next up, we have this heart pendant with clear rhinestones. And I think all the stones are there. There is wear along the chain and we don't have a maker's mark on that one. Um, let's just do $2 on that one. Um, let's just do craft uh, for a dollar on this one. It is showing wear um, and color loss also along the bale. And next up is this little beaded multicolor necklace. And the chain on that looks like it could possibly be sterling. Just testing the clasp on that one. It looks like it could possibly be sterling. Yeah, the clasp on that one is sterling. So an interesting piece, um, probably homemade, but the clasp and the extender is sterling. And it is actually marked 925 on the clasp there. Um, so nice piece. Let's do $4 on that one. And next up, um, just a silver tone dainty necklace. And it has faux pearl and clear rhinestones. And the stones go um, up on the neck there. So it looks like this one's in pretty good condition. Um, I believe all the stones are there, um, really dainty. Let's do $3 on that one. And next up is this necklace. I don't think there was a clasp on this. Um, it is longer and um, looks like it was two-toned. There is a bit of color loss on it. There is a clasp over here no extender, uh, and I don't see a maker's mark on it, um, but a nice layering piece, very simple. And let's uh, do $3, it's in pretty good condition. And I'm 
gonna take out the rest of the items from the box and then I'll have to go back through the tangle. And like I said, there really wasn't a whole lot of earrings in here, which is good because generally you don't get matches to them anyways, so it's kind of wasted weight. All right, so we have a couple rings. This is really pretty. It is matte silver tone and like an orange stone on there. And it's not really adjustable. And does kind of look like there's some sort of mark in there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read it. I'm gonna Google image search that one and see if I can find anything. It is coming in at a size seven. So a really nice piece. So I'll look into that and put a price on the screen. And this is similar to that other bracelet we got, but this is kind of um, like a shiny acrylic. And the other one had a frosted look. So hopefully that's a good item because we have two of them. Um, this is like a hot pink and then this one's more like a bubble gum pink. So I will put info on the screen for that. And we have a ring here. And I don't believe there's any markings on it. Um, but really cool with like a turquoise colored, um, it's actually more teal, like a teal colored cabochon. And I think it is set in there a little bit crooked. So let's see if this could possibly be sterling silver. I think it may be silver plated. It does light up a little bit blue, but then disappears right away. Um, so I'm guessing that is just wear to the plating that we're seeing with um, kind of the distressed look. Um, I don't see a maker's mark on it, but it's a cool ring. That one is coming in just above an eight, so probably like uh, seven and three quarter. So on that one, let's do $5. It is a nice piece. We have a brooch here and it is a CC brooch. Um, we are missing a pearl there and another one there. And it is just gold tone and the pin is a bit crooked. And this one does have a marking on it. So um, this one is marked down here and it's really faint, but it does say Chanel made in Italy. But um, I would highly doubt this is authentic, um, but I will definitely do some research on it. Um, it is a really cool piece. So I, t I tend to get um, counterfeit Chanel quite often. Um, this one I would definitely say would be um, you know, more on the counterfeit side because it is stamped. Um, it's not just an inspired piece. So I will um, do some research on that. And if I can find anything out, I will put that on the screen, but I will not be selling that. I think we did get our match to that Napier earring from earlier. And yep, it is functioning. So let me put that on the card and make sure. So we got a match. So this, um, I believe I said $5. So um, you will get both earrings and the necklace. So that's great. Glad that was in there. Um, we have another ring here and an earring. That was the earring and this is the ring. So it kind of looks like a flower petal, um, clear rhinestones. And I don't see any maker's mark on that one, but it is really pretty. I do think all the stones are there and it's in good condition, tone, but it looks like it's really well made. That one is coming in at a size seven, right on the dot. So let's do $5 on that one. It is a beautiful cocktail ring. And this was a stunning one we saw in the beginning on the first look. 
and um, this one is a kind of a gunmetal tone and we are missing a stone there and another one there um, otherwise absolutely beautiful there is some copper sneaking through on the bottom but otherwise it's in pretty good shape aside from the missing stones this one is coming in at a six it is a bit of a thicker band so um, let's do two dollars on that one since it is missing stones but it is still a stunning ring and this earring is marked allison lou i have a feeling that might be a good brand it looks well made but I don't believe we had the match to it. Bangles um, definitely show a lot of wear. They are both magnetic. Um, we can do both of those for a dollar in craft. And next up, we have this multi-layer necklace. This one is also a Premier Designs piece. It is silver tone and black beaded. And um, overall, it's not in bad condition, but it does show some wear. Um, let's do um, $3 on that one, Premier Designs. This will just be in craft that bangle and we have a purple seed bead necklace and it is silver tone with an extender and it looks like it is a bit misshapen um, but overall not in bad shape they are just acrylic uh, little rhinestones on there so on that let's just do two dollars and I've got my earrings and then I have this pile of tangle so I'm gonna work on getting all of this stuff untangled and we'll go through it and then show the earrings at the end. Wow, this was an intense tangle. Um, probably took me about an hour and I did have to sacrifice a few things that were not precious metal or marked, but it was pretty bad. And I would like to start a petition to ban double layer necklaces because that was the culprit that took forever. But I think this was worth it. There were some really nice items in the tangle, some sterling and a Kendra Scott piece. So make sure you guys don't ignore your tangles because that is where the good stuff is. So there are going to be some things I need to research, but I'm going to show you what was in there. So this was a, I believe, sterling and um, marcasite pendant. And the back is clear rhinestones. And there's even little rhinestones on the bale. And we may be missing a couple stones on this side. It's hard to tell. I'll have to get a better look at it. But this necklace is marked. And I will test everything. And I don't know if I'll know exactly what the brand is. So... The logo kind of looks like Louis Vuitton, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. Um, it says 9250, so I'm going to research that one. If you guys know what that might be, let me know, but it is a absolutely stunning pendant that is two-sided, so I will look into that. If I have any info, I will definitely put that on the screen. Um, this was the Kendra Scott, just a really simple um, black bar necklace. It does show a little bit of wear, um, gold tone, but um, does show a little bit of wear on the chain. And there is the Kendra Scott and the lobster clasp with the extender and the hang tag. So I will put some info on the screen on that one. I can't remember what that style is. Um, but I know I've had it before. So that is a great piece, very simple and would be nice for layering. 
against a seed bead um, little floral necklace. This is really long and could definitely be doubled up. Um, looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, we'll do $2 on that one. There was this bangle bracelet and um, it is a little bit misshapen and shows some wear, but it is pretty. And I did not see a maker's mark on it, but it does show some wear in there. Um, let's just do $2 on that one. And this is coming in, it's going down to an eight. And this was another major problem in the tangle. This is a double layer necklace and it's really pretty. It has a heart clasp and it is marked. Again, I'm not sure the brand on this one. So that is another one I'll be looking up. And it is a two tone, so silver and gold tone. And then it has these um, kind of like knot little pendants on it. So very simple, but a really cute layering piece. So I will see if I can find out that brand and put info on the screen. Next was this kind of popcorn chain necklace. Um, this one is still tangled. It shows where I'm not sure if it's functioning or not. Um, I'm just going to put that one into craft for a dollar if anyone's interested in that one. Um, this was a stunning piece, very similar to the other one with the disc pendant. And this one was also marked um, sterling, I believe. Um, it is marked N925. And on the back, it says Turkey. So um, absolutely beautiful necklace. I will be testing that and putting info on the screen. The other necklace, this was the one that was the most difficult for me to untangle. So I'm gonna be really careful with it. It is a double layer, um, sterling silver, super dainty chain on it. And it has a um, little bit of tarnish on it for sure, like a swirl pattern with a bead and then a swirl pattern with these multicolor. And I guess it is um, sterling and it is a little bit misshapen and discolored. And this one is marked. Looks like it's marked HR925 and nothing on the back. So let me know if you guys know what that brand might be and I will do my best to um, do some research on it before the video. Um, but it is a very pretty piece, um, very unusual. And I'm gonna be very, very careful with this one. So that was the last piece of sterling. So we got three 925 necklaces and the Kendra Scott that was in that tangle. And there was also this bracelet, which is Gorgiana. And that is a great brand. This is gold tone and it has faceted black beads with the um, adjustable cord on the bracelet. Really nice condition, let's do $5 on that. Next we had um, this necklace, it's on um, like a cord and then it has faceted gold beads and that goes down into a lariat with this pendant, but it shows a lot of wear, um, some chipping on the color. So that one will just be in craft for a dollar. I did not see any maker's mark on that one. Next, we had this heart pendant. The heart is super lightweight, so it's probably hollow. And then um, there is wear on the chain, a uh, really dainty chain. And I don't think there were any markings on this one. It may be plated, um, but it's definitely just a gold tone. Um, so on this one, it does show quite a bit of wear. Um, we'll just do $2 on that one. We had another little bangle here. I believe that is magnetic. That will be in craft. 
And we had this cuff bracelet, which has three layers with some um, little rhinestones, like a celestial type look. Um, really cute and not in bad shape. I think all the stones are there. I will check it over better if anybody's interested, but um, really pretty. We'll do $3 on that one. And there's this one that was like an Alex and Ani style. Um, it does have the hook clasp closure and these um, dangling charms. And um, overall in pretty good condition. That one is sitting in about a size seven. We'll do $2 on that. There was this um, just simple gold tone chain, very plain, um, $2 on that. It was in good condition. And then we had this really long necklace. This one is marked, um, and I believe that is the Versona brand. So really lightweight, um, long double layer necklace, and it comes down into all these um, little discs. Um, super lightweight. It's in pretty good condition overall. Um, maybe some discoloration on some of the little discs. We'll do $2 on that one. Uh, there was these uh, joined bangle bracelets. They're gold tone and then have a silver glitter. And there is a little bit of wear like where they're rubbing together and some wear on the inside of the metal, but still in wearable shape. They are really pretty with the interlocked. And those are sitting about a seven and a half. We'll do $3 on that set. And here are the earrings. So I haven't checked these yet to see if there's any that might be sterling, but let me quick glance and see if we have any matches. Okay, so these are all the single earrings. Um, none that are sterling, just all costume. But there could be some fun crafting pieces in there. This was cute. Um, so if anybody is interested in all of the single earrings, um, we'll just do $3 on the lot. That one is really cute too. Um, so I will put those all in a bag. And there was one earring that was marked 925. I'm going to test that one. And then I did get one match, and they were these cross earrings, which are clip-ons. And I don't believe that these ones are marked, uh, but they are really pretty with the two-tone and the black uh, little faceted rhinestone in there. Um, we'll do $3 on those. And that was my box. So i um, very happy to get a few branded pieces. We had um, a couple cool Alex and Ani's. These acrylic bracelets I need to look into. That really cute ring. We had the Chanel uh, brooch. And we had several 925 sterling necklaces. And the Kendra Scott. So overall, um, pretty happy with this box. It definitely was very time consuming considering all of the tangles, but it was well worth it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the video today. Make sure you give it a thumbs up on your way out. I really appreciate you watching and I will be back this week with more jewelry. I may dive into that last shop Goodwill lot I have and we'll probably throw in a, um, 15 piece mixed jewelry box as well. So I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you back soon. Bye.